so let, let's take an example so first kind of idiom we have here is sequence so sequence idioms is to show time sequence so uh, what what is the timeline of it so any particular time and like in the beginning or at the end of the time so whenever you are talking with reference to time or a sequence you can use few few of these idioms and whatever idioms we will be going to cover here you you can bring them into your daily practice to perform good in writing or in uh, speaking section so let's see what all sequence idioms we have so the first one is at the outset so at the outset is basically the beginning in the beginning how to use them is the example for it is at the outset it is important to clarify the distinction between necessary and unnecessary expenditure so while talking if i want to clarify uh, so here we are using at so the example is at the outset it is important to clarify the distinction between necessary and unnecessary expenditure so in the beginning it is important to clarify the distinction between the expenditures second one is at the outset we should be aware of the problems of using the online social media platform in the beginning we should be aware of the problems right so th that's how it is. and uh, in the third example if we will be using outset in between between it should be noted at the outset what is the cause of the problem with which we are concerned fourth example can be whatever the purpose of the meeting it should be stated at the outset and adhere to it okay and the fifth last example is it is important to consist in your it, you should be consistent in your approach right from the outset so in the end how to use our outset is in the it is important to be consistent in your approach right from the outset now let's check the second one it is first thing first first thing first is to deal with things that are important over other things okay so there can be an example like the earth is starving so first thing first we must limit the use of natural resources right so initially like we will have to it, it's most important that we must limit our natural resources that's what the speaker wants to tell here now second one can be bullying is a problem children face in school but first thing first trained counselors should be hired to advise students okay again we are giving importance to the hired uh, advisor in the school then the third example is it will take a long time to improve conditions but first thing first let's see what actions can be taken at our level then you can also say like first thing first let's take uh, like talk about our role before we talk about government's responsibility so that kind of things we can we can actually use first thing first so global warming is a reality but first thing first let's discuss the measures can be used to mitigate the problem okay <clears throat> high or top top one agenda so this means the most important thing to discuss or deal with so top on agenda is so, so say government has realized the need for placing education reform at the top of its agenda okay similar way you can say uh, in this circumstances it is it was no accident that planning and resourcing were high on on the agenda for the internal debate or in each of the school the library was clearly still higher on the agenda for forward plan planning and review so these are some examples for the sequence so this is high on top or top of our agenda to get this work done so that that's how you can portray it and then last but not the least basically like it is you have seen most of the speaker using last but not the least as like uh, highlighting a last point with an important message so important as that in spite of being it is listed last so it doesn't mean that it is not very much useful so you can use it at like after the success of his first book the author thanked his publishers and editors but last but not the least his family as well right so in the in the end he thanked his family but it was very uh, important to him right so similar way that is the be best restaurant in the town because it has terrific food a lovely ambience and last but not the least a great staff same way uh, last but not the least the final participant at the event came on the showcase to uh, sh uh, showcase his skills right then the new mall has uh, like some great stores good places to eat and last but not the least ample parking space right then there is uh, there's no time like the present 
so it means that the importance of the current time it is ongoing right now is the best time that that's what it means and you can give an examples like the master chef always told me that there is no time like the present to start working on your signature dish or you can say there is no no time like the present to confess our love to our partner or there is no time like the present to start this venture because the government is fully supportive and sustainable energy and related reforms right or it is true that there is no time like the present to do what your heart always desired this is very straightforward okay so you can use now let's talk more about uh, the the time related sequences the early bird catches the worm what does that mean is the people who arrive early are the one who gets the best deal like with the example the admission in this college get filled in very early if you are re really want to enroll your son here then you should remember that the early bird catches the worm or like i had told you that only the early bird catches the worm in this organization why did you wait for the last minute to send your application out the seat is already taken now so if you want to give importance to the someone who has benefited from getting early on the post so you got the position because the early bird catches the worm that way i got the to watch the movie in spite of there being a tremendous rush because the early bird catches the worm like that then in the nick of time at at the last possible second what it means is he, he arrived at the wedding in the nick of, nick of time so the nick in the nick of time is basically the time at the end moment you can say so the ambulance arrived in the nick of the time if they had been 5 minutes late he would have died like that or you cannot keep arriving in the nick of the time make sure to check your watch to tomorrow or you will be early enough to help like that or you can say you have to add the baking soda in nick of the time otherwise it won't work while while preparing something you can use a nick of the time then the 11th hour you may have heard this many time 11th hour is again uh, in the nick of the time but is nick of the time is for the last few seconds or very uh, like in a short duration of time and 11th hour is very last moment uh, it it is like at a very last minute before the event is actually done or before it is too late right so uh, just minutes before the deadline he definitely submitted his assignment at the 11th hour you can say or it's very irresponsible to leave chores until the 11th hour before doing them or lisa loves the thrill and rush of making plans at the 11th hour or you can uh, say like the past last passenger to board the aircraft got on at the 11th hour so he was late but he he didn't miss the time or uh, and uh, this one will be uh, my favorite so room was not built in one day and you may have been using it since some while if you know so this is for giving significance to time so every good thing needs time so great things require more time than usual or in india we say like taj mahal was not built in a day so similar way room was not built in a day so the the oswalds you can say an example like oswalds have really worked hard in building their empire rome, rome was not after all not built in one day right so giving a compliment to anyone you can use this like just as rome was not built in one day you are not going to pass this exam by studying for just for one day right so you you may have to give more efforts or my son has taken 10 years to get to this position rome was not built in one day so by uh, by that you can you can show the importance of time and or or you can make sure that someone is articulating the importance of time my my children take their time with the creative project because they always aim at making them the best they can right and room was not built in one day so you can you can add this phrase in the end or the uh, in the start type of idioms that are decision idioms so maybe like difficult to do or decide so in those situations we can use this idioms right so how, how to use them like between the devil and the deep blue sea let's see this is the first example between the devil and the deep blue sea between two equally difficult unacceptable uh, um, unacceptable choices so you have two different situation difficult situation and you have to decide about so how, how you can use it as like trying to please both his boss and his wife puts him between the devil and the deep blue sea or you can say i must move to a larger house or spend money extending this one either will have will be expensive so i am between devil and the deep blue sea okay 
then the police knew with certainty he had drugs in his car so he became trapped between devil and the deep blue sea either lie to police or admit that the drug belonged to him so you can use in many examples like these easier said than done so this is also you you may have heard many of our times easier said than done so like actually talking about it is easier seems good good idea but actually while working on it it becomes difficult or it would be difficult to do so doc doctor advised her to stop smoking and drinking but she's addicted so it is easier said than done for her right so or letting go of bad habits is easier said than done or avoiding mosquito bites is easier said than done or anything like that so we walk about we walk about reducing our cost but it is easier said than done or anything like that so we we want to achieve something but it is easier said than done then the next one is in a quandary so in a in a quandary find it is difficult to decide what to do uncertain about what to do right so so the the job that sites or uh, offer are most stressful but the salary is better so people are in a, a quandary about what to choose work or family life right this can be an example for it now in two minds when you are not able to decide you can say like have while difficulty while deciding what to do it is in two minds so i'm in two minds of either to choose this or that like so parents are in two minds about whether or not to allow their children to be on social media platforms like facebook right so those can be an example or rahul was in two minds whether to make the trip to mount everest and or you can say like i was in two minds about the plan but in the end i authorized it next is keep your options open this means there is a decision to uh, kept in pending so postpone making a decision so that you can choose among several possible courses of action so say overseas jobs or offer sounds good but keep your options open until you are sure right then you can say like there is offered me a good salary if i stay with the company but i think i would like to keep my options open you don't want to take a decision right now you can use this idiom or you can say you are too young to be working i'm just thinking you should keep your options open until you are finishing finish with the college next one is the lesser of two evils lesser of two evils is basically one one option is better than the other one so if you choose the lesser of the two evil you opt for the less unpleasant of two poor options okay allowing tv watching instead of playing online games is lesser of two evils for your children right so th this can be a good example of it or both your options are un unlikable but the lesser of two evil in this case is selling the house so say if someone want to sell the house or sell, sell his company so you can say like both options are unlikable but the lesser of two evils is selling your house and then uh, there are plenty of example i didn't like either politician so i voted for the lesser of two evils you can just give an example of uh, like that or you can uh, say she should she choose, uh, choose a life alone or a bad marriage in the end it seemed seemed loneliness was the lesser of the two evil okay then you you can't judge a book by its cover you can't judge a book by its cover is basically like uh, you cannot know what someone or something is like just by looking at the appearance of it so candidate did not look very interest intelligent but he gave appropriate answers so you you cannot judge a book by its cover so it can be an example or you can say the hotel looked attractive from outside but the rooms were damp and not well maintained so you can't judge a book by its cover okay similar way that the uh, the car was small and looked unsuited for a long trip but packed a lot of power and was very solid so you can't judge a book by its cover next is catch 22 situation so what is catch 22 situation is basically a the situation uh, this phase came up during war uh, in uh, in war time so when there was particular situation when there was no outcome of it so it is a uh, locking between arguments so either you do this or that it doesn't matter you cannot solve that that particular problem so that that's where the catch 22 situation is called so it it is a good read if you want i can put in description on how this if this phrase or idiom caught up in our usual language uh, but here like let's let's try for a few examples so i couldn't start my own business until i have got money and i couldn't get money until i start my own business so this is a real catch 22 situation so i can't have money 
without having a business and i can't have a business without money so you understand here is a catch 22 situation or you can say the company's cost reduction plan is catch 22 they need to lay off half the staff to keep the company open but with few people we won't be able to complete all the work that is needed to earn enough revenue so if you reduce the staff to increase the revenue ultimately you will fail because there will, there will be less productivity and here and you cannot ultimately earn more right uh, or you can say there is a catch 22 in in the job market you need experience to get work and you need work to get experience so usually this situation we see where where you don't get a job without an experience but you will not get experience without a job so it's a catch 22 situation okay thank you so let's let's move on to the next section so here it is contrast idiom so to write about the opposites of it two different situation so the classic one will be the other side of the coin so let's see some examples of it the opposite aspect the other side of the coin means uh, the second uh, the other side of coin is always the opposite of what the current situation is for example having weekends off gives more time to relax the other side of the coin is that less working hours will get you a, a less income so if you take leaves uh, to relax uh, the other side of coin is you will lose on income or you can say there is uh, like the situation is uh, like you you went to a holiday but the other side of the coin is it makes you more tired when you are traveling with the kids okay and similar way uh, as we use the other side of the coin on the other hand or you can say on on the one hand and on the other hand so this idiom is also very popular most of the thing like in most of the situation we use this to show both the sides so one of the example is airport development is necessary on the other hand you are displacing a lot of residents by uh, by building it right so whenever you want to show any contradiction then you can say pay the price like when when there is an experience bad like whenever you want to do something and it has a bad, bad result of something you have done it is pay the price for it so the loss of biodiversity is the price we must pay for progress or you can say if you don't look after your health now you will pay the price when you are older now see things from a different angle see things from different angle is to consider something that is different point of view so let's let us try to see this problem from a different angle right or you can say and then there is another one is to get a fresh perspective to get a different point of view so how to use it is let us consider the opinion of those who disagree this can bring us a fresh perspective okay look on the brighter side there is like try to see something good in a bad situation okay so how to do it uh, how to use it is say city life is stressful but but if we look on the bright side there are more facilities available right so you can give a contradiction which is positive then weighing the pros and cons consider like advantages and disadvantages this is straightforward like you must weigh the pros and cons of allowing un unrestricted internet access to your kids like that then again this one is also classic every cloud have a silver lining some benefits can always be derived from bad things that happened so silver lining is usually this came up when when there is dark and there is cloud and this uh, suddenly sun appears you will see a silver lining to it and that's where the idiom comes from so you can say even though we had lost the match we had gained in experience and and was now more confident every cloud has a silver lining so you can end a statement with a word like every cloud has a silver lining then there is a blessing in disguise so something that is bad at first but later results in something good okay so when it changes the nature of it you can say the blessing in disguise okay losing the job turned out to be blessing in disguise for some as it forced him to plunge into business so he lost his job but he started the business that means the the blessing was there but it was his disguised as failure so, so for someone it will be a failure but then it was blessing for him right so when when pete fractured his knee it was a blessing in disguise why because he got some uh, much time to rest and and break from his hectic work life right unnecessary evil so this is this is something uh, like uh, also used more often something unpleasant like that must be done in order to achieve a goal or or an objective so it, like milk uh, sorry mike saw his uh, going to work for his father as a necessary evil if he was ever to own his company someday so he has to work for his father and it is a necessary evil for him to get ownership right so or you can say david's marriage to Anne is simply a necessary evil or getting education is seen by some as necessary evil to get a chance at a better life many examples like this are there for necessary evil. then all that glitter is not gold 
so basically this is to show like something which is uh, like looks perfect but it is not so not everything that is glitter is gold so children should be careful about making new friends on social media because all that glitter is is not gold then as different as chalk and cheese so this is uh, very like it's seldomly used so for two things completely different from each other this is the idiom so how celebrities behave in public and how they are in private are as different as chalk and cheese so these two things are very contradictory so you can use as different as chalk and cheese then devil's advocate so highly used idiom one who presents a counter agreement argument sorry so argument whenever you are putting out an argument and the counter side of it as well this is the idiom to use so though homeschooling has merits but i played the devil's advocate and say that traditional schools are better give the devil his due this is basically uh, give to credit to an opponent's merit to give your rival app uh, like appreciate them or praise them technology has intruded into our lives lives but give the devil his due convenience convenience has increased okay although technology is uh, an intruder to our lives but it is also convenient for us now the next one is between devil and the deep blue sea we have already talked about it then there is grass is always greener on the other side to believe that someone else's life is better than our own is the regular idiom that we use so celebrities get no time for friends and family instead of envying them we should be grateful for what we have because grass is grass is always greener on the other side carrot and stick carrot and stick is basically a mixture of reward and punishment to induce good behavior so you have to show carrot and also stick to someone just to be uh, like reward and punishment go along so along with carrot of monetary reward must go the stake of 24 by 7 work culture or you can say apart from building the stake of trade sanctions the main deal will be carrot of the cash transfer in this idiom usually the both the words are not uh, said together so you can use carrot somewhere to represent something that is good and the stick that is bad so let's say government's emphasis should be on the carrot of incentive rather than the stick of taxes like that which are used to add additional information to any sentence right here you will see icing on the cake icing on the cake is an attractive but often unessential addition to something so this is addition but it is not useful everyone expected him to do well in exam getting first rank was just icing on the cake so there is a lot of work to be done uh, after that but this is just icing on the cake like that or you can say he was happy to have his first book published all those congratulatory messages and fan mail that came in were the icing on the cake so additional to that he also got appreciations right then moving on kill two birds with one stone this is mostly uh, denotes that you can achieve multiple things with single action so cycling to work kills two bird with one stone i have saved a lot of money on gas and gives benefit of exercise right so you are also exercising and saving money on on the petrol over and over and above so this is basically just to mention you have gone beyond expected so firefighters always go over and above to ensure the people are safe or teacher goes over and above for her students vice versa vice versa is the reverse is also true or you can say the con on contradictory what happens right so she does not trust him and vice versa what does this sentence means is she doesn't trust him and he doesn't trust her rather than saying that you can use this idiom as vice versa or you can say a man of high birth may be of low worth right so and vice versa so that means like he is born in a privileged family but he has low worth or similarly a guy born in low worth family has a high status like that now let's see impact idiom so those are positive re uh, results or ch changes right the first one is fortune favors the brave basically it just means like where when you are brave enough you will be getting lucky right so in this industry fortune favors the bold you cannot expect to be successful as a stuntman without being brave during scenes 
or you can say i took the risk with these stocks hoping that fortune will favor the bold but i ended up losing my entire life savings right then there is standard chance meaning like you have a possibility or a hope of success uh, like if i if funding by government is withdrawn small minority school in remote areas don't stand a chance so they will not get a chance if the government funding is withdrawn then light at the end of the tunnel so this is basically this is it although currently it is dark there is light at the end of the tunnel whenever you literally take the meaning you will understand what the idiom is about and here it says like the difficult situation is coming to an end working to make our family's relationship stronger can take effort but we can certainly see a light at the end of the tunnel if we give them to our loved ones okay the pen is mightier than the sword okay so this means i totally believe that pen is mightier than the sword and will continue to write about my honest opinion even if it it, it is it irks a few right so this is almost literal meaning that pen like whatever you write has more influence on people than actually forcing them with the sword or you can say this newspaper taught uh, works on the behalf a uh, belief that the pen is mightier than the sword out with the old in like in with the new so when something changes from old to new you can say out with the old in with the new so it came back with new outlook to an optimist so how to use it as technology has made a mark on education methods but with the old uh, out with the old in with the new like that you can add that sentence in the end and give something a new lease of life that means to renew something that is last that it will lo last longer so renovating the old library can give it a new lease of life so it will be rejuvenated then there is breathe new life into to give new energy to something so what does that mean is uh, same thing so to give something a new lease or breathe new life into you can use either so renovating an old library can ha have him breathe new life into into it right so you can use that or a change for the better or worse so basically it it means the change that result is either a better or worse situation so how to use it it as to an uh, so to an optimist every change is a change for better or this new job should be a change for better or the situation is now bad that any change is likely to be changed for better right then go back to square one so this is uh, this clearly means like you have to start again so start again because something didn't work well like you can say well so much for trying i suppose it's back to square one so whatever i have tried is failed so it is square one similar to this we have another idiom you can either use square one or you can say go go back to the drawing board how to use it as unfortunately the plans didn't work out we will have to go back to the drawing board and start like from the scratch start with the clean sheet this means same as going back to drawing board like you have an another chance to work on it again and what it means is like he paid for his mistakes and now he can start with a clean sheet so he has wiped out his all his previous mistakes and he has started with the clean sheet or make a fresh start so he has started he has made a clean break or make a fresh start both means the same so how to use it as let's put the problem behind us and make a fresh start change for worse for the worse or change for the good are again same uh, like the older generation feel life was simple in the past and now things have changed for the worse so this is an example where like you can mention the ch the changes are made but it is impacting in the uh, wrong way so there you can say there has been a change for the worse in the environment as more tourist reach fragile ecosystem like mr everest right so now solution idioms to show action solution idioms are basically action that uh, it it can take some action basically you can provide them so say action speak louder than word what do you uh, say like your action is heavier than whatever you are seeing your word doesn't count much so ce celebrities always speak of importance of charity but never do anything right so actions speak louder than word or the captain tried like the captain tired of trying to motivate his player took it upon himself to guide his team to victory after all actions spoke louder than words right then there is leave no stones unturned is 
when when you say do everything that is possible in order to achieve something right so he said he will leave no stone unturned in order to prove his innocence or you can say the doctor said he will leave no stone unturned to find a cure for his illness balancing act balancing act is again an action that is needed a balance between two different conditions a working woman in our country has to constantly perform a balancing act between excelling in his career and taking care of his family or you can say jack and jones are both good employees and valuable to company if promotion is granted to one other one should get a salary hike as a balancing act then drastic times call for drastic measures this is also a very popular idiom which means like in dif a difficult situation necessary action has to be taken and you can use it as after the company has posted losses for third consecutive uh, consecutive year the board decided to replace all of its top management after all drastic times call for drastic measures a stitch in time saves nine it's better to find a solution of any trouble on time before it becomes worse right so to save life you have to stitch in time that's what it means so the the timely investigation could be prevented uh, the major malfunction in computers someone truly said that a stitch in time saves nine or you can just say there is an old saying that a stitch in time saves nine and i think it's better to compromise earlier instead of prolonging a dispute with our neighbors where there is a will there is a way so it it's clearly it is what, what does that mean it has a literal meaning of if you have a willpower you can conquer any problem right so i believe that we can uh, you can use it as i believe that we can do this if we can make up our mind because where there is a will there is a way and for any situations or you can say i completed my graduation despite my father losing his job and not being able to pay my fee because where, because where there, there is a will there is a way then better later than never it it means better to do something late than never doing it and it is again a literal idiom he shows up for the wedding when they they were already cutting the cake it's better late than never i suppose or you can say better late than never former star uh, burger to throw out first pitch at the indian games or i was thinking that you will not come to my help anymore anyways better late than never you can you can compliment someone who is already late that way so yeah next is it's better to be safe than sorry this is popular idiom again a literal one to avoid something that is bad like you have to avoid it before it happens something bad right so i bought this piece of land only after thorough investigation because it is better to be safe than sorry or you can say i always drive with my seat belts on not just because it is a law but also because it's better to be safe than sorry then there is hope for the best but prepare for the worst so this is optimistic like being optimistic but also be ready for the uh, negative consequences right so the tendency these days is to hope for the best but prepare for the worst else in our days we would never be speaking about failing an exam or the man throughout his life hoped for the best but prepared for the worst it is his legacy now strike the iron while it is hot right so strike while the iron is hot is idiom is to take an advantage of a situation which is which can change in future so students should plan their study they they read when their mind is fresh in the morning like strike while the iron is hot so you can use it like that or you can say strike while the iron is hot you may never have another opportunity to go to us take the bull by horns is deal with positively with a difficult situation so face a difficulty and fight it without avoiding it right so example can be like those who take the bull by horns at difficult times are really brave men right or the government will have to take the bull by horn and tackle the inflation do or die so this is a situation where extreme it's extremely important rather you fail or you you fight for it okay so when exams are near it's do and die for the students or i am working hard to defeat my competitor and to win i have to do or die then thinking outside the box is also a regular idiom use in use what it means is you have to think differently to achieve something so the team always think outside the box to come up with a unique adver uh, advertisements for all its clients or this particular technology is quite, quite out of the box in nature and should be hit really easy now the next one is to get to the bottom so what it means is to 
research deep or to get find out the truth in that in that situation so the more uh, you can say an example you, you may have seen it is doubtful if a political interference will allow the investigation to get to the bottom of the case or i need to get to the bottom of this mystery or i will not be able to close the book and sleep like while, while you are reading something second one is hit the nail on the head is again it is hitting when the iron is hot it is similar to that and this is accurately described to cause of a problem or a situation to uh, when you are actually we are we, we always say like we have nailed it right so this can be like hit the nail on the head he hit the nail on the head when he said that most people won't change their way and continue to blame the system for all it, all their ills a bird in the hand is worth two in the bushes this is a pretty uh, like this is uncommon one and very important one where like you can say which is the the current situation is better than risking to lose it by trying to get more more of something right so you may not like your job but don't quit merely on the hope of finding a better one right a bird in hand is worth two in bushes or he decided against selling of his small business for the prospect of starting a bigger one he realized that the bird in hand is worth the two in the bushes then similar way for business related like you don't put all your eggs in one basket it, it simply translate into don't depend on your success on a single plan so you don't just make one plan and think it will be successful uh, so then example can be why you are putting all your money in into one company don't put all your eggs in one basket or you can say it it is wise to diversify your investment uh, investments across different instruments as you should not put all your eggs in one basket next one is take into account bear in mind consider like to just to take into calculation of all possible outcomes take into account i hope that they they have they take her age into account when they judge her work or i hope my teacher will take take into account the fact that i will i was ill for before just before the examination or you can say the hazard like take uh, the the victory of the war was not only because of the good strategy of the king but the brave soldiers and usage of better weapons should also be taken into account next one are improvement idioms like to become better how so make headway make headway is make progress with something you are trying to achieve like the ship has to make headway against the heavy seas or you cannot make headway in, in the countryside unless we perform this task like that a change for better change for better is to to be optimistic the like change for better to like have a situation where the change brings a better situation now for an example voters see the new leader as a change for better or the new large print of in the book is a change for better or any like expected change for better in the job or status in the future on the right track so this is basically an improvement idiom where acting in a way that is likely to be successful so you are on the right track you can simply say it is it is our responsibility to put our children on the right track or we have haven't found the solution yet but i am sure we are on the right track shed light shed light is to explain something in order to make it easier to understand so you have to explain more and due to the complicated uh, equations we thought it is a better to hire a private tutor to shed more light light on the topic or you can say going through the scenario step by steps helps to shed light on it now next one is best of both worlds a win win situation the best feature of the two different things okay so where you are getting both as a good options you have best of both worlds so you, if you decide to live in here you get the greenery of the countryside and amenities of the urban life it is the best of the both worlds really this is this can be one of the example idioms to, that to like to become worse so this is basically like no light at the end of the tunnel so it's just suppose it to light in the end of the tunnel like there is no hope low no hope or no um getting out of this difficult situation and how to use it as like there there has been a change sorry so there can be 
there has been a change for worse in the environment and because of that we see no light at the end of this tunnel so because of the environmental changes and we uh, there is no going back to it then add fuel to the fire so this is basically making a bad situation worst right so how to use it as like there there has been a change for the worse in the environment as more trackers reach nepal so environment is getting worst and worst or like there is a change for the worse in the weather today then add insult to injury what it means is so to make a bad situation worst like it's similar to that and you have to like the examples can be first today work culture is stressful and then to add insult to injury there is a great competition for promotion okay or you can say people not only work late and give no time to their family but to add insult to injury many carry work home right then bite off more than one can chew that is try to do more than you can handle by accepting two part time jobs he is clearly biting more than he can chew it can be a good example for this then throw caution to the wind what does that mean is to take decision without caring about the negative effect of it so caretaker through caution to the wind when taking the baby out of the house even though he was already sick okay basically it is taking bad decisions so or can be one more example is throwing caution to the wing winds she ran on the highway road to board the truck turn a deaf ear so this is to refuse to listen or to ignore someone or don't don't pay attention so you can use it as please do not just turn a deaf ear at their cries for help or you can say this was too cheap when sara turned a deaf ear to uh, to our insistent okay turn a blind eye is similar to not here this is not to see anyone's problem or to pretend that you are unaware of it so as police officers you cannot turn a blind eye to any of the illegal activities around you you can you can use it like that or you can say uh, a gang of goons was beating an old man but instead of helping him everybody turned a blind eye blind eye next is wash your hands off so it is basically abandoning your responsibilities so that job did, did not uh, no good to me i washed my hands of it few months back and joined another one so i i took my responsibility out of it then steer up a hornet's nest what does that mean is you instigate something or you cause an up upheaval or to uh, to commotion which possibly ends in anger and frustration so you can say if you stir up a hornet's nest you create trouble for others or the law lawyer steered up a hornet's nest when his client was not re uh, released even after he had provided the bill papers he called the judge directly to speak about the matter next one is to show no change basically these are the idioms which which actually don't have any changes or any impact so bury head in the sand this is basically to refuse to think about the unpleasant situation and take your, yourself out of it and and hoping that it will improve on their own okay so this comes from uh, ostrich so ostrich usually bury their head in sand uh, at a difficult situation or when they get scared so you have to use it as like stop burying your head in the sand look at the statistics on smoking and cancer you can give an example to someone or lata you can't bury your head in the sand about your heart health please make an appointment with your doctor and get that fever checked out next one is sit on the fence basically it is not take sides in dispute so when there is a dispute between two parties you take a neutral neutral position so sit on the fence school schools sit on the fence so schools cannot sit on the fence any longer they need to make up their mind about banning mobile phones in the class or 
it is wiser to stop sitting on the fence and choose whose side you are on you can say okay not have a clue or ha haven't a clue so you you don't have a clue on it or no idea on it i haven't no clue why she left the job suddenly okay then there is don't count your chickens before they hatch this is basically expecting a good result before it is actually you have prepared for uh, it right so before committing to make a payment wait till you receive the money from the bank don't count your chicken before they hatch old habits die hard what does that mean is difficult to discontinue an old habit okay it is like i i have been going for a walk in the morning for last 10 years now and old and now old habits die hard so i cannot stop going out because i am already doing it from last 10 years or it is similar to the cdm a leopard cannot change his spot what does that mean is people cannot change who they are so they cannot suddenly make a change to what their nature is so he is bound to cheat, cheat in the exam again as a leopard cannot change his spots after all so this is a negative idiom where you can taunt someone that they cannot change because leopard can't change his spots next one is you cannot teach a an old dog new tricks so it is difficult to make someone do some change their habit when when they are like doing it from long right it's the same similar to we our old habits die hard idiom so while dealing with his stubborn child the teacher refused to give more coaching classes by saying that you cannot teach an old dog new tri trick okay then let's let sleeping dog lie what does that mean is it is best to leave a situation in a uh, if it is difficult or it is causing more trouble right so since my manager did not ask me anything and me coming late that day i did not speak to him about it it is best best to let sleeping do dogs lie status quo status quo is the existing condition to maintain that condition right so the countries are now trying to maintain a status quo with regards to their nuclear arsenal which will help them in the situation getting any worse now these are now these are some positive idioms okay for good times and bad times this is ups and downs so when you want to show ups and down uh, good and bad of something you can use ups and downs so presently i am going through ups and downs or i have my ups and downs but i am doing lot better now with my medical condition next one is ray of sunshine so ray of sun sunshine is someone or something that brings hope into the lives of others especially during times of difficulty so how to use it as aim the sorrow her, uh, her son has been a real ray of sunshine or it is easy to add joy to happy person's life but not everyone is a ray of sunshine when one is in need okay then beyond a shadow of doubt beyond shadow of doubt the government has clarified beyond a shadow of doubt that people who have been evading taxes so far will be caught very soon okay like beyond a, a shadow of doubt is it is certain like it you cannot doubt it or my mother was convinced beyond a sh beyond a shadow of doubt that he was the best match for me as usual mothers are always right next one is give the benefit of the doubt so that this means this is literally meaning give uh, benefit of doubt or let them prove that they are innocent okay so let's give her the benefit of doubt and assume that she is right or let's her give the benefit of the doubt and assume that she is right or like by by allowing her to go free the judge gave the accused the benefit of doubt up to the mark up to the mark is basically uh, it's good enough or it was as expected so your exam result this term were not up to the mark so it was not up to the mark what was expected from you or you can say the play was not up to the mark or the delivery work was not up to the mark or was up to the mark okay you can say use it as negative as well as positive by using not up to and up to then a penny saved is a penny earned also a penny saved is this is a regular one that we use so it is basically be cautious with the money 
and have it saving so whenever you see uh, spending some more you can save up any saved or for giving an example like at least 25% of our monthly income should be put aside as a saving because a penny uh, sorry a penny saved is a penny earned he tried he tries to do all the work himself and always says that a penny saved is a penny penny earned cutting edge cutting edge is to be almost among the latest and the best right so this is technological world and whenever there is new updates to it we can we can use this term the company has introduced cutting edge technology which will handle all the client issues or you can say cutting edge technology that is re required to break this market or it is cutting edge technology using artists they are making the 3d prints the cream cream de la cream to be exclusive okay so this is basically it's a french term and comment me the correct pronunciation of it i don't know and i have never used this idiom so uh, pardon for that so i'm i'm also learning with you guys here and i am no expert with all these idioms that i'm talking about so let's move on uh, the next one is count on so count on is basically able to uh, depend on some somebody or something right so count on is it's it doesn't matter what happens you will always be able to count on me or you can say whether they win or lose you can always count on our cricket team then there is laughter is the best medicine everyone knows laughter is the best medicine uh, literal idiom and after spending time with friends martha felt her depression lifting and released that uh, and realized that the laughter is indeed the best medicine here a piece of cake piece of cake is a task which is easy you can say piece of cake like don't worry about this job interview it, it will be a piece of cake for you when you have required skills for it or you can say uh, the test would be difficult but it was a piece of cake cake i will pass with no problems at all right then a friend in need is a friend indeed a person who is help in the time is a requirement for a true friend and everyone knows about it so i i, I can't give any idioms for example or you can say like he stayed with me throughout the time i was in hospital a friend in need is a friend indeed okay negative idioms negative idioms are for describing a bad situation and a chain is only as strong as its weak link that means uh, the chain like uh, with with the example of chain you can say there is a weak link in it is no matter how strong it is it will it will gonna fail right so example like no matter how confident the dance group is in carrying out the human pyramid formation the team is only as strong as its weakest link is an example for it actually so a uh, well uh, it is basically a vulnerable vulnerable spot or a weakness a small fault in a person or a system that can result in failure so it can be like though we had a good person his short temper was a, his arch heel then chink in armor it is a suspectable or vulnerable area in the armor so armor in past there was armors used in battle so that's how the term is says. so she is a brilliant social worker but her lack of political awareness may, may be, can be a chink in her armor the last row last row is basically to be the last one in the sequence of an unpleasant string a string, a string of events right so the last straw in their relationship was when he physically abused her she walked out after that so this is last hanging thread right zero tolerance zero tolerance is to like it to have prescribed and strict punishment for incorrect behaviors zero tolerance is there is a zero tolerance toward any gender bias in this company or you can say zero tolerance to the policy toward people for dishonest being dishonest at their work then show true colors is uh, betray uh, like it is a rival oneself as one is really okay so show two true colors is basically show how one is and it is like with you, you can use it in an example like it's only in time of crisis that your friends will really show their true colors 
smell something fishy so same uh, it is basically to have suspicion on something that is wrong i smell something fishy about the deal that we have been gone through or my mother could uh, always smell that there was something fishy when either of us would be up to mischief rat race classic one then like to be following a routine every day exhaustive as a, a repetitive work that is called a rat race and how to use it as the man has been in the rat race all, all his life no wonder he is enjoyed his retirement life or i am not going to enter this rat race i may be as well do something else okay cup of tea is when you say what you like like to do something or you don't want to do something so you can also use it in the negative way not my cup of tea this is mostly used so like the classic example is i enjoy uh, museums it is my cup of tea or hiking is not my cup of tea but my uh, wife enjoys it so all all those kinds of thing this is negative one so as we talked about not one cup uh, one cup of tea you can just use it in a negative way all bark and no bite is used when it, there are empty threats and you are like you are not engaging in the fight and just uh, abusive right or just talks so i heard he has threatened to you with their consequences if you do not stop that construction don't worry he is all bark and no bite okay wash dirty linen in public to discuss one's private life in public basically like to talk about something or doing a gossip basically is washing dirty linen in public so she decided not to take the family dispute to court as she feared it would only lead to the lot of washing of dirty linen in public down the drain to waste something this is used when when you are wasting something so say fixing that old car is just money down the drain and usually it comes with reference of money itself all my efforts are like uh, you can say all my efforts seem to be going down the drain no one seems to care i don't want this video to happen so that, that's the reason when i'm learning i'm making videos with you guys so you can be part of this journey and sorry for the mistakes that i have been making so whatever trainings i have taken i am posting it i am learning from it this is a small step toward what i want to watch you right so pardon me now next are quantity idioms quantity idioms are basically big and small uh, kind of uh, quantity for something so the tip of the iceberg is uh, it denotes there is a huge effort but we just know the small part of it right so how to use it uh, in the sentences the manager employee problems in this company are just tip of iceberg so what does with this sentence we mean is uh, the manager employee problem is just one part of it and there are a lot of other problems then there is c change c change is to have a big change in perspective Uh, like c is vast right so there are like vast changes so there was a c change in his personality after he married his wife you can say next one is conclusion conclusion idioms conclusion idioms are conclusion for uh, say say with an example end of the day end of the day is to take look at all the possibilities and then to make a final decision uh, end of the day at the end of the day i decided that law school would be best path for me or you can say at the end of the day i am the one who have to live in this house that i will buy and then there is in a nutshell is in conclusion in in summary of everything that you have talked about so in a nutshell in a nutshell the new mayor was saying that uh, fight against crime will be taken much more seriously in a nutshell everyone wants to be happy uh, like all those examples are there the bottom line bottom line is a final analysis the most impact uh, impactful uh, fact or situation what the, uh, does that mean is uh, to conclude it with uh, highlighting it so when you want to highlight something the bottom line is that recycling isn't profitable so if you are talking about uh, recycling and you want to show the profit and loss this is the bottom line is recycling isn't profitable or say bottle uh, so bottom line is that great majority of our kids are physically unfit or we had some success this year but the bottom line is that business is still losing money okay so yeah 
thank you thank you everyone for being part of this video it is a long cut this time and i hope you have gained something about out of it thank you